I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Arceus, so let's go over how to make some potato mochi. All right, it starts with some Idaho russet potatoes. These are actually really nice potatoes, dude. If you find russet, they're usually like that size. Sometimes they're babies like this. Anyways, I'm gonna be using this, not Yukon. Those are a little too waxy. And you could cook them however you like. Just cook them off. I'm gonna throw them in the microwave because that's quickest right now. I usually roll them up in a paper towel, wet them, toss them in the microwave till they're fully cooked, or you could toss them in the oven, or you can boil them. Either way you want works. These potatoes look ready. All right, so I just microwave these guys because we don't want to wait that long. Once that skin peels off, once a fork pierces it well or a knife pierces it and goes through, you guys get the point. You guys know how to cook a potato, okay? Now, this is gonna be very similar to potato gnocchi. I'm gonna use what's called a food mill or a ricer. Put your stuff in here, give it a little spinny spin. See Michael right here, see this, this action? Do a little spinny spin, and then uh, it should come out the holes, right? That's that's the way this should work. This makes your life easier. If you don't have it, then you know just mash it up with a whisk or whatever. So as you can see, it's all coming out the bottom. We don't have to worry about the skins, and it makes our life easier. And this also helps to keep that gumminess texture out because if you overwork potatoes, they get super gummy. We don't want that. So anyways, let me just get to work here. I'll stop talking. And I'll just start cranking away. You know, just like you crank away on your mom. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, canceled. <laughs> Toss that in, do the thing, repeat the process. And look at the top view here. See that? All the skins, they're not going through the holes. Once again, makes your life so much easier. No peeling involved. I love these. They also work great with uh, when you're making mashed potatoes. I always suggest using this as well. Really smooth texture. And then look, look, you spin it backwards. Watch this. See that? See how it's all coming up? And then we just keep going. Okay, just give it a little scrapey scrape. There we go. And you might be asking, what the hell are you gonna do with these chunks here, the skins? You can utilize that. You can put in your mashed potatoes, whatever. Now, let's move on. Got all my potatoes in the bowl, right? I'm gonna add some mochi flour and potato starch. Before I do that though, I wanna get my weight here. Michael, could you get me another one of these bowls, please, yes. dude? Thanks. Thank you. It's too small. Oh, you wanna oh, <laughs> with the same, the same bowl. <laughs> okay, Still sick. new. Oh yeah, still brand new with the stickers. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is what we're calling uh, tearing the scale. So I just need to tear it out. There we go, zero. And I can put this on here, get my weight. I've got 215 grams. I want, Shota was saying I should do 5% of each of these. So I'm gonna add 5% of each of those. What is 5% of 215? What's 10% of 215? That's uh, 20, 20, 20, 22? 20, I'm bad at math, don't 20. ask me. <laughs> We're gonna get our calculators out. Okay, let's do 215 times 0 0.05 equals 10. Okay, so 10 grams of each. I'm gonna do 10 grams of each of these flowers. Okay, here's our potato starch. And some mochi flour. Then we'll just mix this guy up. Bench scraper, best tool ever. Get yourself a bench scraper. Maybe we'll start selling them, who knows? Let us know. All right, I've got some uh, chorizo, cause you know, Mexican, right? Chorizo with potato, that's like standard, so good. So I think it'd be nice to add some of this chorizo as like a filling. So let's do that. Get some of the plastic, some plastic wrap. It's too long. <laughs> I'm running out of room. Plastic down. This is mixed up. This is what we want right here. We're just gonna lay this down, mold it how we want it. I'm just gonna go for a fat looking rectangle, I guess you can call it. Doesn't have to be perfect on this stage. Just want it to be kind of like a equal thickness all around. Honestly, you don't even have to do what I just did, the whole flat thing. You could just like make a log, roll it up, but I wanna stuff it. So I'm gonna do this chorizo as my stuffing. Just gonna put some equal layer all the way through, just like that. Maybe I'll spread it out a little bit, why not? Then, you know, I'll probably season this whole thing as well. Just a touch and start kind of wrapping it up. A little wrappy wrap, like a torchon. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a roll like this. I just wanna gently form my log. And what I'll do is I'll probably get some more plastic. And here's what I like to do at this point to like make sure it's really tight. I grab the ends like this and then just kind of like roll it like a candy, like a candy wrapper. Just keep rolling it. 
And then as it tightens, it'll start to get into that circular shape that you really want. You can even do this if you want a little spinny spin, nice and tight. And there we go, that's gonna go into the fridge either overnight or, you know, right now we could stuff it into the freezer so we can get this done quicker. All right, this has been in the fridge. I actually just cut off a chunk for the short video that I made because we gotta make shorts too. Anyways, but this just goes to show, I can just cut it as I go, leave it in the plastic and toss it back in the fridge as needed. So here's what I do, I'll just slice a couple rounds or a few rounds with the plastic on, just to sort of keep it intact. And then I could just sort of slice that plastic on off. Check it out, it comes right off, same thing. And look, as you can see, it's a super silky smooth texture. All of the starches in here are binding it together. That potato starch with the mochi flour, really nice. There we go, and also I stuffed it with the chorizo, so that's gonna be really good. Maybe add an egg to this and you have a good little breakfast. So now we're going to go ahead and sear these off. I should probably plug this in first, right? All right, we're gonna sear these off in a little bit of rice oil. There we go, a little Harry Potter sound. And then in here, what I have is just a little bit of maple sugar and some tamari soy powder. That soy powder adding that extra umame and saltiness at the end. And that's just gonna be like sifted on over the top. That'll be nice. Rice oil, just a little bit of that. There we go. Dust it with some of that powder right after flipping. Adds that extra umame, that sweetness, saltiness, all that. And we'll flip it over again. Make sure our heat's not too high so it doesn't burn because now we have that maple sugar on there so it'll burn quickly. Same thing on the other side. Listening, look at that. And that's all there really is to it. Stuff it with whatever you want. I'm telling you, chorizo, potato, that's a solid breakfast right there. Take that off, plate it up. There's one. Oh shit. dose. Thress. There we go. Potato mochi with Idaho potatoes. Gorgeous, look at that. Oh, maybe this will be a nice little thumbnail right here. Maybe that, maybe that, maybe that, that. I don't know, you guys let us know what angle you like more. Time to try it out. Also, I don't know if we mentioned this in the video, but we're making this because in the new Pokemon game, they eat potato mochi every day. So I've been wanting to try it out. Also, uh, my buddy Shota, who shares the studio with me, made it today as well. So go we'll check out his video on it. Let's try this out, dude. Here, take the rest. Thank you. Mm-hmm, yeah. With that chorizo too, that's on point. We just ate a bunch of them too with the other video, so really good. Okay, well, you guys let us know what you want to do next or what we should do next, not you. Let us know what we should do next. We might do another Good Soup episode. Should we do another challenge or something? I don't know if you guys like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, smash like, subscribe.